We had recently reported that a Korean news media website had falsely claimed that the Korean FA-50 and Chinese JF-17 are the finalists in the Malaysian fighter jet program, and interestingly, the Korean Times has now removed the article from its website. The fake report was aimed towards promoting the Korean FA-50 in the Malaysian fighter jet competition, as the Indian Tejas light combat aircraft has emerged as a front-runner due to its low cost of acquisition, high level of availability and low levels of maintenance. Two top officials have confirmed that Russia will start the delivery of S-400 systems to India in early November, and they also dismissed concerns over possible U.S. sanctions on the S-400 deal, as all payment-related issues had been resolved, and this deal meets national security considerations. A joint team of DRDO and British firm Rolls-Royce are working to create a basic framework to co-develop a new jet engine, under which both sides will share the costs equally, and will split the ownership trademark and other joint intellectual property rights, and both India and UK will have the power to independently sell license and exploit the technology without the approval of the other partner, which means that the DRDO will be authorized to create new powerful derivatives of the engine without the permission of the British firm. VEM Technologies Private Limited has started work on the 1 is to 1 full-scale model of AMCA with radar-absorbing materials, that will go for the outdoor radar cross-section test measurement facility by November 2021, that will help identify validate and improve radar cross-measurements that has already been predicted by the radar cross-section simulation software developed by the National Aerospace Laboratories. Meanwhile, another high-speed wing tunnel intake model of the AMCA worth 60 lakh rupees has also been sanctioned, on which the Aeronautical Development Agency will collect data and make refinements on the DSI intakes of the AMCA. The Indian Air Force has inducted an unspecified number of light bulletproof vehicles, that has provision for 360 degrees rotatable gunners station and weapon stations, and it can carry up to six Garud commandos and quick reaction team members for protection of air bases. The vehicle provides 6 mm thick armored protection and 40 mm windshield. After ordering 1,300 Mahindra Armoured Light Specialist vehicles, the Indian Army has also started user trials of the Mahindra Light Bulletproof Vehicle, that has a two-man crew with additional space in the rear for four more soldiers, and it can be easily reconfigured for different mission due to the modular interior layout. The Indian Army has issued an expression of interest for the procurement of armoured fighting vehicles protection and countermeasures system for T-90 tanks, and this procurement will be made under the Bi Indian category. It will use decoys, smoke and electro-optical and infrared signals to jam and confuse incoming missiles, as well as systems to detect and destroy incoming projectiles during all-weather day and night conditions. The Indian Army has also issued a request for information for night sites for the recently procured 7.62x51mm Israeli Negev light machine guns. The Indian Navy had ordered an unspecified number of Israeli smart shooter counter drone systems in December 2020, and as per latest reports, India's private sector firm Defsys Solutions has announced that it has delivered the smart shooter counter drone system. DEFSYS Solutions has also secured an order to provide long-distance radio frequency-based detection and jamming solution from the Indian Armed Forces. The UK India Business Council has stated an intention to support bilateral cooperation on submarines and aircraft carriers, and the Council also intends to collaborate with Indian public and private sector defence shipyards to pursue these opportunities. The aircraft carrier design offered to India is adaptable with both ski jump and catapult launch, and it can be modified to meet Indian Navy and local industry requirements. 
The Vietnam government has launched the second high-speed patrol boat that has been built with financial assistance from India, and 10 more boats of similar class will also be built for the Vietnamese Coast Guard, and officials have said that Vietnam is making full use of the $100 million line of credit extended by India. The Chief of Defense Staff has said that the organizational structure of National Maritime Commission is currently in final stages, and it requires the approval of Cabinet Committee on Security, and it is expected to be ready by June 2021, that will handle all maritime affairs from the coastline to the high seas.